Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of TYT Sports. Drew Carter, Dave Brand. Gentlemen, uh, it is a pleasure to have you back once again. A lot of positive comments when you guys were on the show last time. So uh, That's because we're awesome. We are uh, pretty awesome. We're pretty awesome. Try desperately to replicate that or you're never, ever coming back Probably on this show. Probably not going to happen, man. Uh, no, actually you can. Yeah, you'll be back. Be good, be good. Yeah, he, he'll be back. I make no promises. He's got that. stories. <laughs> all right? yeah, He's got an NFL career. What do you have? <laughs> not a lot. Oh, you, you work for the Eagles, though. I played Division Three baseball. Oh, okay, where at? Uh, Kenyon College, so I can hang my hat on that. Two years. Is he bullshitting? No, he's not. He's not. Oh, okay. talked about this. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. I did uh, sports broadcasting at Indiana University. There you go. Nice. I was a part-time athlete as well. So, okay, we got some fantastic stories. I did some intramurals, too. We uh, co-ed volleyball, almost won it all. We lost in the championship game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, man. I was kind of awesome. So we got some fantastic stories for you guys, so let's get started. Paul George, prior to the Pacers matchup with the, uh, I was about to say Indiana Heat, the Indiana Pacers against the Miami Heat, he stated that basically Kevin Durant is a tougher player to guard than LeBron James. We have his quote via Yahoo Sports, so let's pull that up very quickly if we can. Here was his quote. It is a tougher matchup. I watch their games. I watch a lot of NBA games. Good for him. I'm, I always like that, by the way, when yeah, athletes take I pride agree. in their sport. And offensively, KD, as in obviously Durant, is most of the times he's scoring in bunches off of ISO plays, which he didn't do against the Pacers, and one-on-one -on -one plays. And when they play against us, he's moving a lot. He's the screener. He's, going, he's getting back screen, and he's uh, coming off pin downs. And it's a little different when I'm guarding him and makes it, it makes it uh, tougher to cover. By the way, a pin down, I had to look this up. When you set a pick on a player close to the basket okay. to let your teammate pop out to the wing. So uh, that was kind of awesome. I, I always like looking up sort of terminology of each sport. But here's some of the numbers. By the way, Basketball Reference is a fucking fantastic website. If you don't go to it and you're a sports fan, you're uh, half an idiot, just half unaware. <laughs> so, so some of those things, by the way, and I want to get your opinions on this, but yeah. just hear me out. Kevin Durant dropped 36 against the Pacers. LeBron dropped, I believe it was 17 points, but he had 14 rebounds. Coming off of screens, Kevin Durant, 11.2% of his shots. For LeBron, 17% of his attempts come in the post. 21% in transition. He has 551 total points to Kevin Durant's 579. Durant shoots 50% on two-pointers. LeBron, 62% on two-pointers. On three-pointers, obviously, as you might you might know Kevin Durant takes more, 37% on 33 of 88 shooting. And uh, LeBron James, 43.3% on 29 of 67% shooting. Also, LeBron is a, uh, has a better assist ratio, I believe, uh, an assist percentage, which is also an estimate of the percentage of teammates' field goals a player assisted while he was on the floor, 33 to 23 in favor of LeBron. Yeah. So let me start with you, okay. uh, Mr. Carter. <laughs> so, okay, um, Kevin Durant or LeBron James? Who's harder to guard? Chasing around Kevin Durant is, I would say, tougher. Coming off screens, coming off picks, all game long. I mean, LeBron's big body gets into the post. Obviously, mm -hmm. he gets his shooting percentage is probably higher because he's closer to the basket more than Durant. Even though Durant's taller, he's shooting more outside shots. He gets better looks. Gets better looks. But Durant chasing Durant around all game, and he's already what is he six eleven? Yeah. And you're trying six to ten, trying yeah. to come off picks and still try and extend your hand and. Black, it's going to be tougher for me. I would Six, say. 6'10. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would say tougher to, to guard Durant than LeBron. I, I agree. And I think, I, I think another stat, and I think you, you mentioned it briefly, is that LeBron scores 20% of his points on a fast break. Right. Um, 21%. And, yeah. yeah. And not to mention, again, a telling stat is LeBron is a better distributor. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, again, I think you're right. They're two different beasts. I think Durant's half court game is more refined and he's got more weapons in his arsenal than right. LeBron. But LeBron like can what? body you up. Like what? I mean, he's a better shooter. He's a better shooter. He can come off a screen and hit a shot more consistently than LeBron. Kevin Durant is averaging 29 points per game. Yeah. Uh, LeBron is averaging 17 points per game. Or excuse me. Excuse me. Hang on just a moment. Right. Yeah, yeah. 20, <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the Pacers line. 25 points per game, 6.5 rebounds per game, 6.3 assists per game. The assist numbers are up there. So out of anything, we could talk about the MVP and what have you and that, no, oh, well, if you take this guy off that team, look, if you take either guy off their right. team, they're not going to be where they are today. Right. But here's my point. With LeBron, is it more of a team effort defensively instead of a one-on-one -on -one effort? Because he likes to draw the double teams. Yeah. If he gets in the post, he draws a double team, he's going to kick it out to Chalmers or yeah. Battier yeah. or Ray Allen. Is it a sound defensive effort it's when you're playing against LeBron? In the heat, exactly. Because yeah. there's so many guys that can hurt you, especially with like 
you know, you have Mario Chalmers sitting on the wing, you already have D-Wade, you have all the big names. And then I think you ask any NBA player, yeah. If you want to chase somebody around all game coming off screens, they're like, heck no. I mean, let's, you know. let's not forget, Russell Westbrook isn't chopped liver. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And neither is Serge Ibaka. Um, but again, I think they run a half-court set more, which I think defensively, you obviously spend more time playing defense, right. which makes it harder, mm -hmm. or harder. You get tired. I think that has something to do with it as well. Mm -hmm. The Heat, their offense is predominantly a, like, it's a transition game. You know, they'll get at and run on yes. you. Far more than the the Thunder will. Right. Um, which so I, you're guarding Durant over the course of a game a lot more than you're guarding LeBron. Yeah. Which I think is tougher. Is a tougher job. Not you know, is a point that needs to be made. Um, but who's gonna stop the runway train of LeBron anyway? Yeah, you're not. It's like, like yeah, said, you're not dude, gonna stop that. <laughs> if there's beasts, both of them. It's like who's gonna put the nay nay hilarious. I'll tell you what, man. I don't want to guard either one of those guys <laughs> though. Do I. I like those guys. That's the best scorer and the best player in the NBA right. in the world. Field goal percentage-wise, by the way, Kevin Durant 47%, LeBron 58.4. So speaking to your point, he gets yeah. better looks yeah. at a, and a better percentage of looks, certainly. Yeah, and I think it's transition. It's the post game. You know, that's I mean that's an astronomical percentage, by the way. So um, so you guys play. you guys agree with Paul George? Kevin Durant I mean, yeah. is obviously the harder guy to to to, to defend because it comes around in a, screens. In a 24 second shot clock, like yeah. you said, half court, in a half court yes. setting, absolutely.